wears a suit of armor When he's doing it down on Wall Street Ah, but Linda, she's a gypsy She could almost make him care When she says, meet me at the carnival You know, I'll wear a red carnation Hi, I'm Diane Marie Collins, and you have entered the DM Zone. I'm visiting with Dave Nachmanoff, and we are here in Gilbert at the Higley Theater. You are what I would call a musician's musician. You are a uh, player, a songwriter, and a mus you play lots of different instruments as well. Let's talk about how you and I first met. You were playing for Al Stewart. You first saw Al play at the um, Albert Hall in London and the Royal Albert Hall in London, you, 1985. 22 years later, you're on that same stage playing with him. What has it been like playing with Al all these years? It's been quite a journey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there've been there've been a few times where I've kind of had to uh, pinch myself to go, "Is this is really happening?" Um, there've been times I've gone, well, "How on earth did I get into this?" and uh, and a lot in between. But overall, it's been it's been an, an amazing journey. And it's wonderful. You've done CDs with him as well. The last CD that he did, correct? Right. We had a live CD uh, a couple of years back called Uncorked, and that was the two of us doing what we do, getting out there with a couple of acoustic guitars and and just. Uh, tearing it up in front of an audience so I love it now you also mention on your website that you if an artist out there is looking for a player you're the guy I, I like to play with people I like to play with people I've never heard or never even met um, and so that's that's always fun I've I actually in recent years I've been playing so much with Al that I haven't been playing a lot with other people mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. I've gotten to share the stage with with quite a lot of, of famous and and especially non-famous people who I think are wonderful um, just players yeah just players and, and a lot of great songwriters um, I like accompanying songwriters. Which now, is you just like led me into my next question. I love it. Songwriting, you are a songwriter's master. Uh, you, lead, you lead workshops on how to write songs. What is your most favorite thing that you do when you teach someone how to write a song? They've got a thought, a melody, something in their heads, and you help them put it down. What is that like? It's a lot of fun, and, and, and one of the things that I do, I teach a lot of songwriting workshops for non-songwriters. So I've done a lot with um, school children, everything from kindergarten through college students. Um, I've worked in nursing homes and retirement communities with elders. Um, I've worked with differently abled populations. Um, recently been doing some work um, with aphasia patients, people that have aphasia that can't speak. Um, so it's interesting to see how they can write a song, but if you get a group of people together, um, give me an hour or two with them, I can usually help them pull a song together. So I think my favorite part is, is when the light bulb goes off and they realize, wow, I, I can do this. And you know, they can't necessarily do it all single-handedly, but they, they can contribute a line, they can come up with a melody idea, um, they can come up with an idea for a rhyme and be, and be part of the process. And they can see how the process works. As we as we do it as a group, yeah, um, I, I, so I, I love that. It's, oh, I, I was just going to say I find that fascinating. Now, the other thing that I noticed on the website was that you said if you've got a special birthday, an anniversary, any kind of occasion, call Dave. He'll create a song for you. Really? Yeah, that's one of the <laughs> it's one of the one of the main things I do when I when I'm not touring and performing is I write and record custom songs for people, and that is that's been an amazing journey too because it's a very it's really a very great honor to me to be part of people's private worlds. Um, when they hire me to do a song, say for their anniversary or for a wedding or for someone special, I've done a few that were um, pretty touching. You know, one there was a, a fellow who had uh, terminal cancer, and and uh, some friends of of his family wanted me to write a song for him while he was still alive. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I wound up actually not only writing the song but but going and performing it for yeah. him and his family. And it was uh, it was a little hard to get through, but it was <laughs> it was just beautiful to to be able to be. Uh, to contribute something to their lives in the form of a, a song that, that w was something special. Right, right. And so, yeah, I mean, it, as as I've been doing this for a number of years now, um, I've, I've got so many of these songs and, and stories, and, and they all mean something to me to, mm -hmm. to be mm -hmm. part of these people's lives. And, and so it's, it is, it's an unusual 
thing, I guess. But I think but it's, it's a wonderful gift that you're sharing. I think that's just so awesome. When I read that, I was just going, oh my goodness, I love it. It's it's fun, and, and it is actually the perfect thing if, if somebody just needs a gift for, for someone that seems to have everything and they can't think of what to get them. Um, they probably don't have a personalized song. And they, and they really are written from scratch. I mean, some, I've, I've heard of a few people that do custom songs where basically mm -hmm. they just take a song that already exists and rewrite the words or something. They do the same one for everybody, just insert the name. But no, these are this is really ta tailored to the person. And I, since, I, as you mentioned, I do play quite a few instruments. Um, I usually do all of the, the production and instrumentation myself. Um, so it's, I, I actually I'm hooked. enjoy that process. It's, it's, <laughs> it's fun. I'd, I'd like to do more of that work. It's well, maybe with through, through the DM zone, we'll get this out for you. Yeah, although actually, given this next year, my tour schedule's getting so so busy, I may not have a lot of time to be doing so many of them. But that's okay. That, that would be a good problem to we'll have. We'll figure out how to work it yeah. in. <laughs> now, the other thing is that then if someone wants to reach you, um, I know that, for instance, my husband follows you on Facebook. Are you also on Twitter? And what's your website? My website is, is probably the best way. That's DaveNack.com, which is D-A-V-E-N-A-C-H. So it sounds like Dave Nack, but it's, it looks like Dave Natch, the A-V-E-N-A-C-H dot com. Um, and that's probably the best way. I, there's a fan site and a friend site on Facebook. Um, I think I have the Twitter thing. I'm actually sort of a... a you're a bad Twitterer is what I'm you're telling bad, me. I'm a bad Twitterer, <laughs> right. I, I have someone else who helps me with a lot of the online stuff, and I think he does some Twitter posts once in a while. What do you call them? Tweets or something? But Yeah, I, we call them tweets. Yes. I, yeah. So cute. <laughs> I'm just not quite hip enough to be on top of the Twitter thing. But. Well, you're hip enough for me, and I appreciate you taking time to spend time with me. Thanks. It was lovely to see you again. <laughs> it was good. And you have been in the DM zone. Now, I will tell you that Dave is going to play for us along with a couple of the guys that are here for this concert. So stay tuned, and we'll put some in between. But you have been in the DM zone. Come back soon. Walking on eggshells most of the time He treats her gently She thinks she'll keep him round but She's a fragile thing A complicated angel With a heart of glass A checkered past You must be careful Yeah, she's a fragile thing With this fragile thing Break your heart She's a fragile thing But this fragile thing Will break your heart And Jeannie's not easy Although she is known As a man in her time They get too close She always Disappears. A slide of hand suppressed to digitation, a puff of smoke, a cloud of ink whenever someone nears. She's a fragile thing, a complicated angel with a heart of glass, a checkered past. You must be careful Yeah, she's a fragile thing But this fragile thing Will break your heart Yeah, she's a fragile thing But this fragile thing Will break your heart And nothing is easy It seems she's hardest on herself She wears her pain and grief Upon a sleeve But Stephen is not like the others And this could be different But it's gonna take time Till she knows what her heart can believe She's a fragile thing A complicated angel With a heart of glass A 
checker pass You must be careful Yeah, she's a fragile thing But this fragile thing Will break your heart Yeah, she's a fragile thing But this fragile thing Will break your heart Well, it's good to be a stranger in a strange land Like a person incognito or a masked man well, Like an actor in a play Who shall I be today? It's good to be a stranger in a strange land Yeah, it's fine to be unknown and all alone here with no fixed address, no fax, no telephone here. But like Descartes in Amsterdam, or a robber on the lamb. It's fine to be unknown and all alone here. But you can call me a tramp or a vagabond. Well, I don't care, cause that's the life that I choose. You can call me a scout or a layabout But I've got nothing that I own And so I've got nothing I can lose Well it's nice to just blend in and be unnoticed with no map to show me where the proper road is With the sky above my head And a park bench for my bed It's nice to just blend in and be unnoticed But you can call me a tramp or a vagabond Well, I don't care, cause that's the life that I choose you can call me a scam or a layabout But I've got nothing that I own And so I've got nothing I can lose I've got nothing I can lose I've got nothing I can lose